Hello Libra! Irish Donna Tara, welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing really well today with a great start to the new year. We are going to hop into your love reading momentarily. Uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the collective. We are going to let you know, or I'm going to let you know, not we, um, there's a contest. It's really a good contest. It's going to go every single month this year. Sometimes I draw more than one name. All you have to do to get your name in the drawing is to subscribe and like, um, make a comment. Hopefully like the video also. So let's get started. Much ado about nothing if we don't just jump in and give you your reading. Okay, so let's see here. We have seven of discs at the bottom of the uh, deck. That indicates to me that you're not quite satisfied in your love life. It looks like you have great fiery passion. You're kind of keeping to yourself. It looks like you have a suitor or somebody that you think that you could be madly in love with or have a really good relationship with. And so far, the overall energy looks as though they might not be stepping into that masculine leadership role quite so quickly. But let's look at the cards. That's what I'm getting as a first kind of a, an energy coming in. But we're going to look at your mutual energy, okay? Your mutual energy in the past. I read this as a love reading, but it could be anybody that you care about or want to know about, but it is an actual person you interact with. All right, so let's see what your mutual energy is for Libra and the person for whom they came to the reading to learn about. Okay, Libra, Libra. Mutual energy in the past was the Ten of Discs. Ooh, this can be work-related, or you could have met the person at work, but the Ten of Discs as a starting, a beginning card indicates a, a, a legacy marriage, is I guess the best way to put it. Building legacies, creating value. Uh, so it shows that when you came into this relationship, um, that marriage is very much an energy in this situation. So we're going to find out what that really means. Either the person really sees you as that person. You've probably known each other a long time. Um, but this is we're going to clarify everything. All right. The mutual energy right now seems to be that you're holding on, but it seems a bit bleak, okay? there's You're not feeling overly optimistic. You've gone from ten of coins to the four of coins. So... It's kind of being miserly, not wanting to give up on a situation. The person and the way they see, oh, ouch, okay. The two of you going, uh, the situation as it is, is a tower card. It means that you probably had an argument. There's something that happened. Tower cards, I really think, are epiphanies. It's like sometimes we make a lot of assumptions in life and all of a sudden we wake up and go, oh, what I thought was happening is not what's happening, okay? So we're going to clarify once again, but... The tower card is uh, a moment of truth, basically. It very seldom means more than that, okay? It's very seldom actually catastrophic. It's catastrophic to our belief maybe that is, is erroneous, okay? And it's a clarification card. Ten of Swords shows how your person views you. So it looks as though they feel as though you've been the one that has, you know, sort of brought this sweeping sword in. This has, it kind of looks like the death card too. The Ten of Swords is, you know, Gemini energy. It means that you you have spoken in a way that indicates a very much a head over heart observation and you've given it to that person evidently. I think you created the Tower Libra. All right, how they feel about you in their heart space. Well, that's Sagittarius energy and it says basically, I feel like the luckiest person on earth to have met you. You are this wonderful creature who is in some ways exotic and because Sagittarius energy is a ruler of the ninth house, they find a lot of things about you to be absolutely wonderful. This is a little bit aloof energy, you know, It's but it is fiery energy. This person feels passionately attracted to you. They feel that you're, you, you embody incredible beauty and wisdom. And again, they feel like they won the lottery when they met you. All right, how they see the two of you going forward? Well, with truth and clarity. <laughs> I like 
truth and clarity and Libra likes truth and clarity and that is definitely air sign energy so we are looking at Aquarius Libra or Gemini energy uh, the tower card is really you know it's the tower card is very much Aries energy that's very assertive um, you know energy that that, that says I'm going to I'm going to fight for the relationship. Okay. What we have in terms of the hidden energy is a strength card. Look at this card. This actually shows basically a woman who is pregnant or able to produce a child. She's holding her belly. The the Leo energy here that's prevalent in the reading is that this masculine a lion. It could be vice versa. Remember, all the readings can be flipped. Uh, it shows a fierce protection of one another. So that's very interesting. All right, let's look and see what the tarot recommends for the week. This is a reading that if it resonates with you, it's timeless because time is a construct of man. All right. Oh, look at this. It basically says that even if you have to move away from each other and take a break from each other, that you need to be very gentle and you need to be very protective of your connection. It shows that Archangel Raphael might be taking the two of you apart for some for the greater good of all. It means that you should just accept this for the time being. Uh, it shows that you know, you are being divinely protected. And it shows that the children, the dogs, you know, it, it shows a situation in which this very passionate angel wings here um, talk about a at least a temporary separation to make things better, time to step back. All right. And it also shows a high priestess is your outcome. Use your intuition that whatever you think is going on is correct, Libra. Um, Let's look at the clarifiers here. What I'm seeing, in my opinion, when I look at this reading, and the clarifiers will tell more of the story, but it looks as though you may have had a relationship with someone who was married or is married or is in the middle of a divorce, but things are very stressful right now, and so discretion may be advised in terms of the connection and um but we're going to see. We're going to take a look at this because it doesn't really indicate a third party situation, but the circumstances do indicate that. It also shows that there may be a hidden pregnancy here that needs to be protected. Or there may be information about a secret pregnancy. All right. And I wouldn't say this in any other deck, but this one, she's holding a pregnant baby and the Leo the lion here is protecting her. Okay. It shows the Ten of Swords is, or the Queen of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Discs. With great clarity, Libra, you showed up in your reading. You are gloriously aware of this uh, situation that you find yourself in. It shows five of swords. You feel as though it's it's unfair. You know, it's very painful for you. And there is another woman here, the queen of pentacles. So though it may not be a marriage, you may be involved with somebody who has a connection to someone, um, someone else, some responsibilities. Here's the other part of it. A lot of times I see when I do readings, I will see the other woman as a, an ex-wife. And the reason that person shows up in the reading as competition or somebody that's an obstacle for you, it shows because most husbands and most good men spend a lot of time visiting children in a way that they didn't historically. So it shows that while the marriage is over, while you're free to have a really good relationship with this person, you might find obstacles involving children from a previous marriage. Okay, we have our Archangel Michael down here and that's the reason I'm seeing it. Okay, so we're gonna speed up here. We've got a few more minutes. Uh, I'm trying to keep everything down to 14 minutes or less. All right, we have the High Priestess. You know that at this time, things are, feel a little bit bleak, but you also know it's necessary to the situation. Uh, the High Priestess is wise, right? You're very wise. The High Priestess is a leader. Uh, and we have it here resonating twice in the chart. So you know that this time of not getting as much as you probably deserve is uh, just sort of because of the circumstances. Okay, why is the okay? Why is the tower card here? Well, that it looks as though you became tired. You know, you became tired and bored, and you decided to shake things up. 
and this energy is uh, five of cups saying that you know you do need more that you're giving enough and that you really still deserve more than you're getting you feel as though your person is is really uh, being somewhat unsympathetic to your situation and that's really not where this person should be with you, correct? I mean, if somebody is coming to you as your lover, coming to you passionately, coming to you in, a, in, a, in an environment of protecting you, um, you know, you're not getting enough even though you're willing to sacrifice a lot. All right, so let's look and see what the Ten of Swords is here. Your person views you as having uh, betrayed them emotionally, um, and that's probably not true. Strength card, nope, you didn't. Speaking the truth and shaking somebody's sense of reality up is what is required because this person is sort of in their own little world. You know, they, they, this person that you're having this relationship with is, is a bit, and it looks like Leo energy, and Leo's a fixed sign, and they don't really change easily. Temperance card, okay. They do view you as somebody who wants to make things work. They view you as a person who has judged them, though. And Judgment card does bring the sword down. You know, Judgment card is a card that says, you know, that at the end of the day, it's Scorpio energy, and that is a Death card energy. And the Ten of Swords is uh, very much a Gemini Scorpio overlay on this reading. All right, so these cards popped out for the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords again. So there is this feeling of ending, and the relationship could end. The Tower card in the Ten of Swords says that the active relationship may end because of logical and factual circumstances that indicate that, you know, for you, Libra, you know, or your person, and or both, it's, it looks like back and forth energy that you both feel this way, that you both feel as though you're at a crossroads, that you're not really sure what the way out is. You know, you don't know how to protect the relationship. Everybody else is getting protected, but the relationship is not getting protected in all of this chaos that is going on. Now, I don't see this as really big chaos. I don't see it as necessarily huge drama because Libra, you just don't do huge drama you cut and run typically before there's huge drama it's not your it's not your forte and you would feel uh, undone by it Hierophant, it does show that the wheel of fortune is that you did meet somebody who has at least obligations in a traditional manner to someone else and um, you are just saying you know what i want a real i have great clarity in what i want this is your person also. They want you to have great clarity, but you notice this eagle has uh, a wrap around him. So though he understands that your truth is a reality of the situation, he sees you as honorable, or, or she, he or she, uh, they see you as a person who, yes, you really did make sense in your explanation, but they still want to make love to you. They still want that passionate embrace with you. And so now they have great clarity. Now both of you are in this very protective mode of one another still. Nine of Wands, it is a heavy burden. Queen of Wands, it's an executive decision that you are making or the feminine energy in the relationship is making. It's what you have to do at this time. You can't be active at this time. It shows that you're going to go silent and you're going to be alone for a while and you feel as though this relationship could unravel your sense of stability if you continue it and the answer is how smart of you to see this as being toxic energy ten of wands it's a burden you shouldn't be carrying the three of swords there we have it the clarity of a third party marital situation third party situations can be family, they can be friends, they can be circumstances, but in this instance, it is a marriage. Emperor card, you will manifest, you will manifest, oops, oops, excuse me, 14 minutes, sorry, uh, you will manifest a beautiful relationship May, with or without this person, you're, um, you know, my thought is that you're going to go on and live your own life. Um, it shows the page of pentacles here. Uh, is the person this week tries to make you an offer. The offer doesn't look like it really is suitable for you to put up with all this sort of what you feel is a toxic situation. So Libra, it looks as though you make a choice, head over heart decision to walk away from somebody who is precious to you, uh, whom you love very deeply, but you're going to let them sort through their life. 
their life. They're, you're, you're sorting through your life and you're going to leave it to them to sort out their life and get their act together and come to you in a way that's whole and healthy and you're just not going to do toxicity here. It shows that it's painful enough. So Libra, here's what I see. You're making the decision to in this relationship, at least on a temporary basis, this energy tells me it's the right decision for you to do. It shows that the love is there. You still have fiery passion. You're not going to carry the burden. You're going to let this person, you're not going to be codependent. You've decided not to be codependent. You've decided not to uh, burden yourself with this something. This is an emperor. He can get out. He's going to succeed at getting out of this situation, whatever it is that made it bad. So know that you have manifested a better, healthy relationship with this person whom you adore. Okay, so there you go. It does look like marriage in the offing. I would say it will take uh, this person probably anywhere from 10 months to 16 months to get their life together. All right, take care, Libra. So nice to speak with you. Talk soon. Bye-bye.